Standing at the pancake house Two in the morning and my flight goes out Three in the morning and I just touched down Four in the morning I'll be back around Yo, what's up guys? This is Key P with BeatsByKey.com. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to achieve the Tinashe vocal effect in FL Studio using nothing but stock and free plugins. Um, I wanted to switch things up a little bit and provide you with a female vocal effect since there's a lot of really dope female artists out there and I noticed that there's not a whole lot of tutorials for them. So I hope this will be beneficial. I'll be showing you all the plugins and presets that I use for this vocal effect, but for the sake of time, I'll just be showing you the final presets that I use rather than um, going through each one. Otherwise, I know that it could take a lot of time trying to copy everything. Plus, I'm sure that you'd rather be spending time actually laying down the vocals rather than messing with the plugins. Uh, the, well, I should say, rather than messing with the 19 plugins that I used to create this vocal effect. <laughs> if that's the case, I do have the uh, FLP and Waves preset available in the description below. Please note that the Waves preset kit, it comes with all the presets that I use, but not the plugins. So for more information on that, just click the link in the description. It should have everything that you need to know. So yeah, shout out to one of my artists that I work with. Her name is Unique. She is actually the artist that provided the vocal effects in this tutorial today. She's a very dope artist, love working on her music. So go check her out. The link is provided in the description if you wanna listen to more of her music. If you guys could, please subscribe and like this video. Let me know if you are feeling it. Let me know in the comments also what you wanna hear next. So without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. So the first thing that you actually wanna do is record your vocals in FL Studio. If you don't know how to record your vocals in FL Studio, I have a video showing you just that. So be sure to check that out before you watch this. The next thing that you want to do is make sure after you record your vocals, make sure that your target mixer track is properly set to the number in your mixer slot. So you can see here that this is going to be my main vocals and these are going to be my ad libs right down here. So the main vocals you can see is set to two. You can see that's my main vocals and then obviously the ad libs right here are set to three or track to three i get asked all the time do you record your vocals raw or do you record them with effects on i always record vocals raw and that's actually what i do that's actually what i ask from my artists when they at they want me to mix and master their songs i always ask for the raw vocal effect because i just feel like you could do a lot more with them when you apply the effects that's what i did here when first starting out it was just raw vocals as you can see, uh, I added the effects after. So Unique used a Legacy LSM 65 Studio Condenser Microphone. It's only like around $60, $70 on Amazon. Very cheap, I actually provided the link in the description if you wanna cop that. And she also recorded that in a Focusrite Scarlett Solo audio interface. As you can see, it sounded really crisp and clean. You don't need like the top gear in order to get the right vocals i mean you just need good presets and you can go from there so first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to turn off the beat and i'm also going to turn off the ad libs for now and we're going to try it and i'm going to show you what i use for each preset and i'm going to turn off all these plugins right now and we'll just start with the pitcher and the eqs for the pitcher this song was in a d sharp minor I have the gender set to female. I pitched the uh, the speed to just above medium, right about here. The next two are actual EQs, uh, parametric EQs. So I'll turn these on for you. The EQ sweep is the first thing that I do. What I do is I make sure that what I'm what I'm essentially doing here is taking out the unwanted frequencies in the vocals. I go through each one and increase these bands. I increase the gain of each band first to hear where the bad frequency is and then I lower it accordingly. So what this does is it cleans up the vocals. So that's what I did here. The next thing that I have is a key P EQ vocals. This is my uh, EQ that I like using. I noticed that in a lot of Tinashe's vocals or any female vocals in that matter, they don't have any lows in their vocals. So what I did was I completely cut them out anyway. And then what I did was I just increased the mid and highs while still cutting this off right here. And But what I did was I increased the mids and highs to get that clean vocal effect. So we could hear what everything sounds like together, what we have right now. One in the morning at the pancake house. Two in the morning and my flight goes out. Three. Here, we'll 
increase it a little bit more. So here's what it sounds like all together. One in the morning at the pancake house. Two in the morning and my flight goes out. Three in the morning and I just touch down. This is what it sounds like without. One in the morning at the pancake house. So you can definitely hear a difference if you have uh, good headphones on or listening to this uh, through good monitors, you could definitely hear a difference in between the two. So the next thing that I have is a Maximus EQ. And so when I turn this on, I'm gonna decrease this because I know it's gonna be pretty loud when I turn this on. This pretty much is another EQ and compression. I use this as a compressor as well. And then I use the bands to EQ everything a little bit more. So this is what it sounds like with this on. One in the morning at the pancake house. Two in the morning and Without. my flight goes out. Three in the morning and I just with. touch down. Four in the morning I'll be... There you go. So that's what we have. The next thing is a fruity limiter. I use the fruity limiter as a compressor. Now we can actually turn this down to probably where it was supposed to be at, which was 11.8. One in the morning at the... There we go. So what I did was I increased the gain to right around 5.2 decibels. I made the threshold right around 25.8 because you can see her vocals are pretty low. I didn't have any knee on there. The ratio I have around two, uh, two zero one. And then the attack, I actually increased the attack quite a bit. So I have this set at 337 milliseconds and the release, I have this set around 83. I didn't do anything with the limiter, but uh, so that's what I have for the fruity limiter, and this is what it sounds like all together so far. One in the morning at the pancake house, two in the morning and my flight goes out. One in the morning at the pancake house, two in the morning and my flight goes out. So perfect. So the next thing that I have is a sound geyser. Now this increases the wanted frequencies in the vocals. Um, if you use it right, I have this set at A and I increase the vocals to right around here. We can hear what this sounds like all together. One in the morning at the pancake house. Without. Two in the morning and my flight goes With. out. Three in the morning and I just touch down. Perfect. All right, the next thing that we have is a fruity chorus. So uh, I have the mix level set to around 50%. As far as the chorus vocal, main vocals, you can uh, just copy these presets right here. And that's what I used. And we can hear what this sounds like all together. One in the morning at the pancake house. Two in the morning and my flight goes out. So it gave it a really cool chorus effect. I thought it went really well with the beat that was provided. The next thing we have is an abstract chamber. So you could copy the presets here, but um, I have the mix level set around 13 to 14%. So here's what everything sounds like together. One in the morning at the pancake house. Two in the morning and my flight goes out. So really dope. And then we got the fruity delay. One in the morning at the pancake house. Two in the morning and my flight goes out. Three in the morning and I just touch down. Four in the morning I'll be back around. There we go. So that's what everything sounds like together for her vocals here. The next thing that we have is the ad-libs. So as far as the ad-libs go, um, everything is pretty much the same here. I added a flanger so you could copy these presets. And I have it set to like 55% as far as the mix level goes. The next thing I have is an abstract chamber and you could copy these presets as well and a fruity delay. And that's essentially the same except I increased it from four notes to eight. And then I also uh, mess with the settings a little bit more. So this is what the ad-libs sound like together. Pancake house. Black goes out. Touchdown. Beep. Yeah, so that's what we got. So it added a little uh, call and response type of effect to the main vocal. All together, this is what we have. One in the morning at the pancake house. Two in the morning and my flight goes out. As far as the master track, I actually didn't have anything applied to this to this video, but normally I would have the uh, Ozone Elements 8. I just, for this one, for this preset in general, I just used uh, clean limiting and I adjusted the threshold just a little bit too. So. Uh, that is what we have. That is pretty much it guys. I know that was a lot of information thrown your way in one video So if you just wanted to download a copy of my presets 
you can certainly do that in the description below. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments. If you want to hear a different vocal effect, also let me know in the comments below. So I appreciate your guys' time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Peace.